that was spoken about in the round table today from regulation to accountability I think is possibly part of the solution for that but in order for for companies to demonstrate accountability I think there needs to be a process by which there is a better understanding of the processes that are already in place in companies for dealing with some of the harms that are identified on the internet so a better uh, ability for, for companies to demonstrate accountability around content moderation would be part of the solution to the challenge of, of, of internet accountability. We need to be able to have bridges, we need to have an understanding of how to deal with the internet at the global level. And the another issue, of course, is that internet, well, it's new, it's a brand new big technology, it's only uh, been created 50 years ago. Uh, and really come into the public sphere 25 years ago or so. So we need to adapt it, we need to adapt our regulation, our legislation, and reinterpret our basic beliefs uh, in the context of the internet. Not rush, try to make sure that we preserve all the enormous good that the internet brings while dealing with the social issues, the social adaptation that is needed to come to grips with this major technology as we have done in the past with major other technologies from the printing press to railways. I think what's needed and where there's been a gap in policy making in recent years is uh, much more focus on the mechanics of how policy is made and how regulation is done. Um, I think we need to stand back from some of the outrage that drives political debate today and put in place uh, working forums where industry and government and regulation can come together at a senior level to find new ways of tackling problems and that's going to require different institutions with different institutional mandates and resources and different ways of engaging with companies um, and we need to be thinking through now how we're going to put those institutions in place. Um, I'm a trustee of Carnegie UK Trust and we've produced uh, a series of papers suggesting that a statutory duty of care uh, on internet companies um, would be one method of uh, tackling the issues that, that are present here. Uh, a statutory duty of care requires companies to ensure that their customers and others do not meet reasonably foreseeable harms that arise through the use of their services and that the company has an obligation to avoid those harms occurring and that those har and the company's activities should be enforced by a regulator. We feel that this is a, a systems-based approach to solving the problems rather than a, a more detailed and frankly impossible approach to tackling individual pieces of content as they arise. It's based on long-standing practice in the UK in regulation of health and safety at work and safety on private land and we feel that this model um, is, has a very good chance of resolving many but by no means all of the issues that arise from uh, social media platforms. So I think the the first step is to clearly identify what the roles of each of these stakeholders is. What is the role of government, what is the role of industry and what is the role of civil society. And this is very new and, and interesting because we are here at the intersection of society and technology and we all have different roles to play and different responsibilities. I think what is important is that we strengthen the existing set of rules that we have but we also have to think about the vacuum of rules. There are many areas where we have a tension for example between privacy and competition, between free speech and privacy and I think that is uh, it is necessary to have a wider debate on how we want to resolve this and then come up with clear guidelines specifically for the technology industry how we can implement and enforce those rules.